Let's go. Hey everybody, Coach Scott here today. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about a very important subject and one that's near and dear to my heart, and that is acid reflux, uh, heartburn, gas, indigestion, uh, bloating, and even dehydration. These were all symptoms that are no fun, and I know firsthand how very painful that they can be. Believe me, I understand. And most people, interestingly enough, walk around with these symptoms every single day, and they think it's normal. They think this is a normal part of life, and this couldn't be further from the truth. So let me qualify the statement a bit. If you're passing gas, or if you've got some gas, that can be normal. That is definitely a normal function of our body uh, as part of our uh, digestive process. Because when food passes through us, uh, or our gut, uh, and our gut bacteria goes to work and begins to metabolize and break down the food and digest and absorb what we eat, that's a, a regular release of gas and that can be part of a normal process. That's not what I'm talking about. But there's a difference between a normal amount of gas being passed uh, and consistently just passing gas or being plagued by you know, burping or bloating or heartburn or indigestion all day long or every time you eat something, you've got acid reflux coming back up on you. And if you're someone who struggles with these issues, I wanna tell you, you can improve your situation. And you do this by the things that we're teaching, by avoiding the, or limiting refined grains and sugars. Uh, you've gotta drink your water, you've got to get your hydration in, and paying close attention to any foods that trigger uh, a larger, hang on one second while I pass this street, any, any foods that are gonna trigger a larger amount of, uh, of gas and bloating, uh, which happens to be in your gut. And again, by the way, that means your gut flora is out of balance at some level. Then the next step is to fill in your nutrition profile with high quality supplements if you need them. This is why I recommend the Heal and Recovery Powder and this is why my family takes it every single day. Every single day. The Heal and Recovery Powder, as well as the other supplements that we recommend, this just has them all in one. Uh, it promotes digestive uh, uh, health and regularity. Uh, it fortifies immune system functionality. Uh, it supports respiratory health and cardiovascular and uh, pulmonary strength. Uh, maintains healthy blood cholesterol levels. Uh, maintains uh, even healthy uh, triglycerides in uh, and, and, and pretty much normal ranges. Uh, it maintains even healthy digestive systems. So again, building a, a beneficial uh, balance in your gut flora or microflora, if you will, uh, is something crucial to feeling good and making sure that you're that you're healthy. And so. If you wanna relieve a, a occasional constipation or occasional irregularity, uh, again, this is a great way to help normalize that gut flora. F-L-O-R-A, by the way. I'm not saying flora, I'm saying flora. You'll even see uh, improvements. We've heard people talk about improvements in their skin, uh, experience fewer headaches, they sleep better, they wake up more rested, uh, find themselves having fewer cravings for those fattening and sweetening foods, and most importantly, the Hill and Recovery Powder is known for, and is what we created it for, will help you with inflammation and hydration. So you don't have to live another day with this discomfort. You have what it takes to be healthy at a cellular level and to be all that you were created to be with your health and with your life. You've gotta put some things in order though, and you've gotta do it on a consistent basis. And if you'll do that, I believe and declare, you will be all that you were created to be. God bless you guys. Take care. We'll see you soon.